tales can come true It can happen to you If you're young and old I think back to my youth in Vancouver and I describe it as an almost magical time. What is so special about Vancouver is that it's surrounded by so much beauty. Picture the site where everything is clean. There's no garbage, there's no dirt, you know, everything is spick and span and, and, and beautiful. There's the bay, there's the mountains, and there's the trees, um, Stanley Park. Birds are chirping and the sun is shining and everything feels really positive. And the centerpiece of this beautiful thing is this clean, ancient marvel. Okay, let's go out and have a look at the tree. Kwachi decides to go to the Vancouver 2010 Olympics and he arrives in the city, discovers the hollow tree, and they imply that he sort of uses it as a hotel. We have an Olympic village over there right now. It's half built, they run out of money, they don't have the financing. It's the worst crisis, financial crisis the city's ever seen. This is the, the real context in which we're working. Oh, the, the park staff was, was correct that it was ready to go anytime. You know, any storm could have put it on the ground pretty easily. The word rot has been used to describe the fact that the tree is no longer in the same uh, state as it was when it was a young tree. As we love anyone or anything, we all know that everything has a time and a season. Did you hear they're cutting down the hollow tree and it's going before the parks board on Monday? Get your name on the speakers list. I have never in the 40 years that I have attended parks board meetings heard such a statement made. And when that time and season comes to an end, we should let them go with dignity. You know, what kind of moron would cut this thing down? You know, like, what are they thinking? Popping a dead stump up is not doing so with dignity. I have never been involved in a propping up an old tree like this before. The fact that the outside is old looking is just because it's old, right? Just like some of us on the outside. <laughs> but in, inside, it's strong. Yeah, you're only young as you think. And we're young. <laughs> just don't you forget it. The only reason it's tilting, there's only one reason. Underground here, it's weak. Well, this tree has taken up quite a bit of my life at this point. Well, it's going out with us. And he also described case of some travelers came uh, across an enormous tree. Fantastic thing. And they said, never did anyone see such a tree. So they went up and looked at it. At first they tested the leaves and found that they were rough and disagreeable and no good to eat. Then they looked at the branches and found that they were all twisted and absolutely no good for using a stick. Then they examined the wood and found it was full of pith and absolutely useless for a carpenter. So nobody had disturbed this tree. Uh, it was not used for cutting down on any purpose whatsoever. And so it grew to an enormous size and was of great age.